Hi folks, welcome to EDU 695. I'm Carol Marcotte, uh, Dr. Carol Marcotte. I work at the University of New England in the undergraduate and graduate program. So I'll tell you just a little bit more about myself as an introduction before we um, before I start talking about the, the course. I have been with UNE since 2004 as adjunct faculty. I was a principal, assistant superintendent, a classroom teacher on the school board. And during that time, I was working uh, in the graduate program at UNE uh, as the adjunct. And then finally they said, hey, there's an opening over here. Can you, can you come on over and apply? And I did. I was actually an assistant superintendent at the time, and I've been with UNE full-time for seven years now. Like I say, I teach in the undergrad program. So currently I have student teachers in the schools. And then the other part of that is I have the graduates who are in the College of Graduate Professional Studies. So I work for two programs uh, and College of Arts and Sciences where the undergrads are. I do teach some undergrad courses um, related to special ed. And some of the courses that I teach in the graduate program are uh, student teaching, um, excuse me, administrative teaching, I think you'd call it the internship. So that means that teachers like you who are in MSA, uh, MSC program or in the CAGS program, I want to be administrators, whether it be principals or superintendents. I have 15 grandchildren and I live in Maine. Yes, I said 15. And I have one great granddaughter and her name is Beckett and she's five months old. So um, in a nutshell, that's me. I'm going to provide the link to my uh, UNE faculty page so you can look at it as well. So enough about me because I wanna learn about you and I can't wait for you to get into the course. Now, the interesting thing about EDU 795 is I have not taught it in quite a while, but years ago I developed it and it's been redeveloped, a colleague and I redeveloped it and it's been redeveloped again, but I'm looking forward to it because part of EDU 791 that I teach, which is the internship, the administrative interns have to develop a e-portfolio as well. So little pieces about that. So why am I video you, videoing you? <laughs> um, it's actually, I'm doing it on Zoom as you can see, but I do that in my courses. I like to um, be able to connect with my students. It's really important to me. I like to show them my personal side. And if there's ways that I can share some of my experiences, I'll do that too, to help the flow of learning for you um, be a little bit more rich. So e-portfolio, there's, there's a couple parts to the e-portfolio, all right? So uh, what we're gonna do, you'll see in week one, you're going to talk about um, posting a draft of something related to the portfolio. So think about that. And that's why I'm sending this out to you early. It will be posted in Blackboard as well. And then you're gonna post a draft resume too. Keeping in mind, as you know, that most of the online courses start on a Wednesday and on a Sunday, that very first week is brief. Uh, I, I wanted to give this information to you up front so you could be, you know, let, let your mind wander a little bit about what you're going to do. You're going to be seeing samples too. So you'll be helped along the whole process. I just mentioned there are a couple parts to the portfolio. Now this is in the future. This is not the first half week. <laughs> um, you'll be doing an introduction page, a table of conduct, tense, um, educational philosophy. So think about that. I know in the grad course that students have to write an educational philosophy too. So you'll have criteria to show you, you know, what parts are, are critical and what the criteria actually is. This all focuses on standards, okay? So it all depends who you are and where you are in the course, um, what standards you're going to be relating to. At the end, near the end, there's a reflective essay too. So. Um, there is information on the site that's going to give you Google sites. So you have those examples. So you're going to be led through the process. There's going to be a lot of collaboration on our discussion boards. As far as discussion boards, I respond to every single student. That's important to me as well. Um, some research says you shouldn't re respond to everybody because you might be leading them. Well, guess what? My, my um, responses are supportive in nature. So 
I think that's enough about the course because I don't even want to look to see how much time I've been on the video already. I don't want to make it too long because your time is vital. And I will say to you right now, thank you for all that you're doing. This is an amazing time to be in education. My heart is with you, my thoughts are with you, and I respect you very much. Being on the school board, that's what I was all about, truly about education and supporting teachers. So um, I do have virtual hours posted on the site and you'll see that. And I'm not black and white. I'm, I'm one that, you know, you call me, text me, email me, and I'm gonna pretty well get back to you as soon as possible because I know you want an answer. Um, I, my email is C-M-A-R-C-O-T-T-E at uene.edu. I said that kind of fast, but you are getting this on my email. My cell is 207-284-3680. Text me anytime, please. Uh, and there was another piece. Oh, 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 ask the instructor. I do not use that piece on the course because I want to get back to you faster than going on the site in the morning, Blackboard going on at night, and then there's how many eight hours in between that you could have got a response to me if, I, if you had sent it through my email, okay? All right, see you online. Have a great day. Um, you're getting this Monday night and I will see you Wednesday online. All right, take care, be well, and thanks for all that you do.